Finally, the public beta version of tvOS 18 has just been released and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the supported devices and how you can be able to download the public beta version because once we are at this stage of tvOS software update, it means that these updates are somewhat stable and most of your favorite YouTubers and content creators have possibly created videos by now, which Apple agrees with. So here's everything you need to know about tvOS 18 a software update that's coming to your living room pretty soon. This is a list of all the TV devices that are going to support tvOS 18. You have the Apple TV HD 2015 which is about 9 years old and at the same time all the Apple TV 4K models starting with the first gen that was released in 2017 and the second gen in 2021 and the Apple TV 4K third gen and possibly if this year we get a new Apple TV you can definitely be rest assured that that is going to be supported on tvOS 18. Now that we've seen the supported devices, this is how you are going to update your Apple TV to the public beta of tvOS 18. What you want to do is open up Safari on your Mac or on your iPhone and go to this website right here. You can see this is the beta.apple.com website and if you click on it or once again you can see the full website here beta.apple.com and this is the official Apple website so once you're here on this page you can click where it says get started keep in mind that if you don't have an account it will prompt you to sign in or sign up and for me right here you can see I've signed in so once you're on this page you choose this section that says tvOS but you know you can read all about the different other softwares as well but if you go under tvOS right here you can see tvOS 18 and if you look under this section that says get started there's this option that says enroll your Apple TV and once you click there basically your Apple ID will be used to authenticate that you've enrolled your device into the public beta program and now you can see some of the steps that you are being encouraged to do step number one sign in with your Apple ID on your Apple TV and then go to the software update page and turn on beta updates update your TV and boom, you have the public betas of tvOS 18. I'm just going to turn on my Apple TV so that you see the same steps here. If I go into my settings right here and I want to go to where it says system and under system, if I go to where it says software update, you can see under this software update page, we have the ability to get beta updates and you probably have this set to off if you're doing this for the first time. So click there where it says get beta updates and then you'll be able to select the option or the ability to choose public beta or if you enrolled into both public beta and developer beta like me, you can choose developer beta. But for the purposes of this video, since this is the public beta that we are testing out, then you want to go and click where it says public beta right there. And you can see, do you want to get the beta updates on this Apple TV as part of the Apple beta software update program. So right here, what you want to click is the option that says get beta updates. And now you can see if there's a public beta update available for your Apple TV, then it will be able to download over the air. If it doesn't pull it automatically, you can go to where it says software update and then you can also be able to pull the update. So you've seen the supported devices and now let me show you some of the biggest changes that Apple TV OS 18 has to offer. If we go into the Apple TV app right here, I'll use Siri to find the show I'm looking for quickly. Play Maxine Rose the Dice Season 1 Episode 4. Go to the 22 minute mark. And you can see, boom, it's gone to the 22 minute mark. And right here on my Apple Siri remote, you can see if I swipe down like this, I have the ability to go to the new insight section. And at the same time, you have the info when you swipe to the left. But the insight is what we are here for because it's new with this update. And you can see here, it shows you the actor's name and it also shows you their actual name in real life. And if you go to the left right here and you are watching a show and that that specific frame that you want to use insight for this music playing in the background you now have the ability to identify the music by just clicking on the mid center of the Apple TV remote you can see it has added to Apple 
TV saved songs. And now if we go back to our home screen like this and go to the Apple Music application, you can see on top if I go to the library section and go down, we have this saved songs. And if I click enter or the midpoint, you can see way down yonder in New Orleans. And that is the song that we identified from the Apple Music or Apple TV show that we saw right here. So that is the new inside feature. And it doesn't actually end there because if you are watching a show or an episode, you can see if you swipe up, you have this sort of analog feature that's here. And if you click on it, Apple has added enhanced dialogue. And according to Apple themselves, this is using machine learning or in terms AI. So if you go here to the enhanced dialogue, which was there in the previous update as well, you can see you have the ability to boost vocals. And this gives you two options, boost and enhance. And if there's background noise like music or there's cars, wind, it will try and enhance the vocals or the voices at that exact moment and the voice will be more clear and easier to understand. Something small that seems to have sort of improved with this update if you access your control center right here you can see some of the icons and contrast right here have sort of improved it's more clearer whether you are in dark or light mode to see the difference between the non-selected object and that which you'd have selected so it's always welcome and good to have and this will be helpful if you are accessing the control center maybe while watching a movie or through the different aspects and sections of the apple tv there's also so robot vacuum support in the Apple TV. This is thanks to HomeKit and the Home Hub support and updates with tvOS 18. With your Apple TV, if you have wide projectors that are 21 by 9 aspect ratio, you'll be able to go into your settings and video and audio and be able to change the aspect ratio. In most cases, the aspect ratio and resolution will automatically be detected by your Apple TV and it will adjust accordingly. But it's good to see that they've added this 21 by nine aspect ratio support under the settings in the screensaver section right here you can see apple has made some improvements so current selection you can see i have areas but then at the same time you can see apple has added photos and slideshow which is more accurate and takes some of your icloud images right here so it's still syncing and they've added this new portrait section or photos that you can see here so if i was to press this and go all the way home and then press back again just like this it goes to the screensaver section and then if i swipe up like this you can see the different portraits or the different new section that they have added right here it's called portraits and it says check back later processing your photos for this screensaver so it will be able to read and select using machine learning your best portrait pictures from your device and then it will auto sync those to your apple tv and then you'll be able to see the latest portrait pictures and at the same time there's going to be a new snoopy screensaver that you'll be able to select once your apple tv is idle in certain countries and regions very soon you'll also be able to monitor the different energy usage across your home thanks to the pg and e partnership here within tvos 18 siri is now more on device based meaning that you now don't have to wait for it to send your request to the internet and then get back to you so it now means that siri is faster and at the same time it doesn't require that constant communication for most basic requests another change that used to be here but was removed and thankfully they've added it with tvOS 18 is share play and right here you can see in the music app if you click here the share play pops up and now this allows others in the room to scan the QR code and be the DJ and the good thing about this is that others don't need an Apple music subscription for them to do this so that's a plus and it's good to see it back something that has been added in the home app application with iOS 18 and tvOS 18 is the ability to change automatic hub selection. So now if you have a dedicated hub that you want to set as your main and you don't want the device to automatically switch between different hubs or your device to switch to a hub that doesn't have the best connection, you now have the ability to switch off the automatic home hub selection and manually choose a home hub of your choice. Similarly to the photos wallpaper, the photos application has also been updated the update is a minor one but it just goes to show actual libraries and brings up the albums and libraries correctly
Now, rich metadata has finally been added in the Apple TV application, which wasn't available before from the library tab. So by what I mean here, if I was to go to the home tab of the Apple TV right here, you can see, you know, I get the different charts. But if I go to like any show, for example, or even if it's movies that are coming to the Apple TV, I can always go on any here and then if i press and hold you can see it now gives me the ability to go to the show without having to play it automatically so if i click where it says go to show you can see it doesn't play it automatically and it gives me very important metadata of this show or movie that I'll have selected. And before, yes, this used to be available in iTunes, but now it's good to see that on the Apple TV, it's now available. And if you want to get no more information about a show or series before playing it you can just press and hold and it does seem to take a little bit of some time but then you can go to where it says show and you get to see the different information without having to start and then go to the info tab this is very good and it's available right from the library an application that received some minor updates is this podcast application you can see when you open it up for the first time there's going to be a new splash screen and right Right here i don't have any featured but yeah it's good to see that apple is working on updating this and at the same time another application that has been updated is the fitness app so when you open it up right here let me just confirm on my apple watch and of course it's now quicker unlike before where this would take some time and if i click where it says connect something that here in the fitness is the different activities that i've added and at the same time if you go to the explore tab you can see there's many new workouts that have been added some have to do with pilaris others are meditation yoga and so on so it's it's good to see that Apple is encouraging people to stay fit by updating and adding new features as well as workouts in the fitness application. Something too that has been added in the Apple TV app is that if you are watching a series, a show or a movie where the default language is different from that of your system in settings, it will now turn on captions or subtitles automatically. At the same time, if you are playing a series and then you press back like this, you can see it automatically turns on subtitles and at the same time if you were to mute it will automatically turn on subtitles one of the things that i'm actually waiting for right here when it comes to the apple tv app apple music podcasts and other media applications if you go into the apple tv on mac and go to settings you can see here when you go to the playback we now have something for the first time on mac os that hasn't been available where we have true lossless audio high bit rate uh, audio pass through via HDMI but something that's a little bit odd for the Apple TV is that I looked in the whole video and audio section and some of the TV settings this is not something that I was able to see so at this point in time it seems like it hasn't yet been added but when it does I will definitely let you know those are some of my favorite new features that are here in tvOS 18 for the Apple TV keep in mind that as we go through these public beta updates and developer beta updates there's going to be more polishes more new features more screen savers we've been promised that are not yet here maybe more hdmi high bitrate dolby atmos pass through that we haven't seen but we've seen on mac os but on the apple tv coming pretty soon so definitely do hit subscribe and if you like this video hit that like button so that you keep up to date when these features come out i'll be able to test them and be able to demonstrate if they are fully functional or if they are there's any issues or bugs that still need to be resolved so that's about it for me when it comes to this tvOS 18 let me know if you're going to be updating to the public betas or if you're already on the developer beta like me and uh, that's about it for me stay safe and I'll see you in the next video pretty soon peace